Superfood Evolution presents Pure Maple Syrup, an alternative natural sweetener. Pure maple syrup is made from the sap extracted from certain species of maple trees growing primarily in the northeastern U.S. and Canada. Tapping maples for this clear, sweet liquid is a practice originally acquired from various indigenous woodland tribes native to these regions, such as the Abenaki, the Iroquois, the Ojibwe, and Mi'kmaq, as well as other Anishinaabe and Wabanaki peoples. Many of these cultures regarded the produced syrup as a source of energizing nutrients and developed ceremonies like the maple dance performed during the tree tapping process. Maple tree tapping was later adopted by European settlers who began a type of forest farming from wild stands of trees. Some of the regions are still family owned and maintained today by descendants of these earlier colonists. The craft of maple sugaring is commonly viewed, along with honey collection, as a semi-wild source of condensed sugar, as it is derived from trees growing in fairly natural habitats to ensure their maximum lifespan. The syrup we are explicitly referring to is 100% pure maple syrup, which is nothing but the boiled sap from the maple tree. Manufacturers use the word pure to make this distinction that maple syrup is the only ingredient. It is good to be aware that there are many maple syrup lookalikes on the market that contain additives such as flavorings, preservatives, and other sugars, especially corn syrup. Real maple syrup, however, is the sap boiled straight from the tree and bottled. New findings on maple syrup's health enhancing effects were discussed at the 2017 annual gathering of the American Chemical Society in a symposium entitled chemistry and biological effects of maple food products. Among a number of topics was the current research on pure maple syrups recently identified antioxidants and phenolic compounds such as Quebecol in addition to its recently revealed presence of inulin, a natural prebiotic. Pure maple syrup is also right on the cusp of what is considered to be a low glycemic sweetener and can be a nice sugar substitute to have on hand in your pantry. When combined with other sweeteners like stevia or yacon, it is a tasty way to reduce sugar consumption. Although real maple sap derived syrups are heated at relatively high temperatures to condense the sugar content, many people following a high raw diet occasionally use them in small amounts to sweeten drinks, raw dessert recipes, or foods like chia porridge because of their distinct, unsurpassed, caramel-like flavor. Maple syrup is of course a carbohydrate source, containing mostly sucrose, but also comprises some micronutrient content in the form of minerals, some vitamins, and trace amounts of amino acids. These properties maintain an advantage over highly refined sweeteners with very little nutritional value. While we are personally not big fans of using concentrated sugars, even the more natural ones, in large amounts on a regular basis, depending on your current dietary practices, they can be a much improved upgrade from refined white sugar, artificial sweeteners, or foods containing high fructose corn syrup. What is pure maple syrup? All maple trees produce a sap which can be tapped, collected, and heated to produce pure maple syrup. Most maple trees are made from the sugar maple tree because of its higher sugar content, but the black maple and the red maple are also used commercially. These tree species are native to the hardwood forests of eastern Canada and the northern parts of the central and eastern United States. The maple leaf is in fact represented on the Canadian flag as well as designated as a state tree in Vermont, Wisconsin, and New York. Maple sap is a clear, watery liquid that acts as a primary food source for the tree's growth. Because such a large amount, hundreds of gallons of sap, is produced annually by each tree, harvesting methods generally don't affect the tree's life cycle. Many suppliers liken tree sap collection to a person donating blood, and that there is plenty to spare. A healthy group of trees or a sugar bush with well-developed branches and leaf growth can often be tapped for decades and even centuries without decreasing sap production. 
Most maple syrup producers want their trees healthy and thriving for many years, so overtapping is not usually an issue as they are managed for long-term sustainability rather than short-term gain. Some organic certifications like QAI, Quality Assurance International, also have strict forest management guidelines that protect against causing harm to the tree's future growth. Speaking of which, we always recommend purchasing organic maple syrup over conventionally produced brands. Please click the button on your screen to get more specifics about why organic is better. How sap is collected and syrup is made. Maples are tapped when they are about 30 to 40 years old or 12 inches in diameter or larger. Starch is stored in the root system and in the winter converts to a sugary sap which rises up the trunk in late winter to early spring or sugaring season. This is the time of the spring thaw when enzymes convert the stored starch into sugar mixed with water. Sap runs up from the tree's roots when nighttime temperatures fluctuate above and below freezing with warm spring season days. Tree tapping, or the sugaring off season, occurs once a year between mid-February through April, usually over a course of a month or more. The annual tapping is complete when the freezing nights end and the trees begin to produce buds. Tapping is achieved by extracting the sap from the sunny, south-facing side of the trunk of the tree, about two to three feet up from the base. Holes are drilled through the phloem layer, just inside the bark about three inches deep and spout-like taps are inserted to extract the sap. Traditionally, sap is collected using covered buckets hung from the spout. Today, an attached vacuum tubing system is viewed as a more efficient and sterile method. This does not suck the sap, but rather lowers the pressure in the pipeline to allow it to flow more easily. The clear liquid is then immediately taken to the sugar house where the sap is boiled to evaporate the water content and concentrate the sugars into maple syrup. When it reaches approximately 7 degrees Fahrenheit above water's boiling point of 212 degrees Fahrenheit, it has transformed into maple syrup. Sap is approximately 98% water and 2% sugar, and after boiling converts to about 33% water and 67% sugar. This process increases thickness and also darkens the color, which can vary from golden to dark brown depending on different factors. Pure Maple Syrup Grading System Pure Maple Syrup is graded in terms of flavor and color, although the grade alone does not always determine equivalent flavor characteristics. In 2013, the International Maple Syrup Institute in conjunction with other maple syrup producer associations, proposed a new unified grading system. Essentially, there is no more grade B, only grade A's, which are broken down into four main categories according to color and taste. Grade A golden, delicate taste. Grade A amber, rich taste. Grade A dark, robust taste. And grade A very dark, strong taste. While maple syrup as a natural product uniquely varies from year to year and tree to tree. Generally, lighter syrups are produced earlier in the season and darker types are produced later as the sugaring season develops. The lighter the color, the more subtle the flavor. Darker colored syrups are more full-bodied with an intense maple flavor. Each syrup, however, can have its own distinct tones and taste qualities. What is maple sugar? Maple sugar is also another product that can be produced from the syrup, essentially the same way that coconut nectar can be further heated to create coconut sugar. It is the crystalline solid form of pure maple syrup after it is boiled for longer than is needed and all the water has evaporated off. It is more concentrated than the pourable syrup as it consists of less water and more sugar content. Top Maple Syrup Producers Canada, particularly the province of Quebec, is the main producer of maple syrup worldwide, making up 80% of the world's supply. The state of Vermont is the largest U.S. supplier, making up over 5% of the market. 
Other major producers include New York and Maine, following to a much lesser degree by Wisconsin, Ohio, New Hampshire, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, and Connecticut. Because of the nature of forest farming maple trees, pure maple syrups sold today often come from small-scale maple sugaring operations. A bottle of syrup is not necessarily from one sugar bush, but may be a collective contribution of several different producers. Sometimes Canadian and American sources are also integrated into a single bottle of syrup. This is especially the case when the brand is not solely a maple syrup manufacturer. Health Benefits of Pure Maple Syrup A Potential Sugar Alternative Your own selection of natural sweeteners reflects what you are typically used to consuming and how you incorporate them into your diet. For those looking to reduce or eliminate highly refined or artificial sweeteners, maple syrup is a potential alternative. Being higher in sucrose with a good amount of calories at 52 per tablespoon, it is not one that you would tend to use on a regular basis or in large quantities. It has been shown, however, in glycemic index testing conducted by the University of Sydney that pure maple syrup has a GI of 54. According to their research, anything between 0 to 55 is considered a low glycemic sweetener. This essentially means that it won't dramatically spike blood sugar levels when consumed by itself. Nevertheless, it should normally be integrated as part of a whole food diet, not used exclusively. While well, we have found that most maple syrup nutrition facts labeling is based on a one quarter cup serving size, we would not recommend this as the average quantity consumed at a meal. This amount is most likely in reference to its traditional use as a pancake or waffle condiment. Infrequent small portions of maple syrup and other concentrated natural sweeteners are usually not a problem for those following a health promoting diet and lifestyle. However, when condensed sweeteners, even the so-called healthy ones, are consumed in excess, they can feed fungal yeast strains like candida and the growth of unwanted parasites. Beneficial gut flora can be thrown out of balance, causing an array of autoimmune conditions over time, if not corrected. According to an article posted on the Body Ecology website, maple syrup is listed as a potential option next to molasses and quality agave for those reintroducing sweeteners into the diet after a candida cleanse. Today, many people following a high raw diet or primal diet consider tree extracted pure maple syrup a more natural as well as healthier and tastier option for use in recipes and especially desserts. Other popular pourable alternatives you may also wish to consider include coconut nectar, raw honey, and yacon syrup. For those looking to shift to a low or no sugar diet, sweeteners like monk fruit, stevia, lacuma, and yacon might be more appropriate. It is also beneficial to integrate a combination of different sugars when used in recipes. If you choose to use maple syrup, you can blend it with these other low or no calorie alternatives or others like raw honey, coconut sugar, or xylitol. It really depends on your current dietary practices and long-term health goals. As we mentioned, pure maple syrup can make a good choice when the serving size is limited to small portions and when eaten in combination with other whole foods containing a greater amount of nutrients. Light amber grades are generally considered to have more sucrose than darker varieties, which consist of small amounts of glucose, fructose, as well as minerals and antioxidants. Contains antioxidants and phenolic compounds. Maple syrup has been found in new research to be composed of a number of antioxidants and polyphenols, such as lignans and coumarin, quebecol and genolin. In particular, the phenolic compound referred to as quebecol, specific to maple trees, is actually created during the conversion process from sap to syrup. Named in honor of the Canadian province of Quebec, the world's largest producer, Quebecol and one of its analogs called isoquebecol 
has been identified to possess effects as an anti-inflammatory agent in research published in the 2017 Journal of Bioorganic and Medical Chemistry. In yet another study, pure maple syrup's polyphenol properties were identified to provide potential protective effects against neuroinflammation by reducing beta amyloid formation, a plaque present in those with Alzheimer's. While we would not necessarily recommend consuming high amounts of sugar if you have any type of tumor growth, the antioxidant activity of maple syrup extracts has also interestingly been shown to have anti-proliferative effects against cancer cell lines, as published in a 2015 issue of Oncology Reports. Shown to contain the polysaccharide inulin. When selecting a sweetener for moderate use, pure maple syrup comprises greater health-enhancing components in contrast to other refined sugar sources. It has also been shown for the first time in 2017 research to contain the polysaccharide inulin as well as arabinogalactins and rhamnogalacturonin. Inulin, in particular, is a noteworthy natural dietary fiber or complex carbohydrate that has a prebiotic effect in the gut and helps to encourage the growth of beneficial bacteria. Likewise, in research on mice, maple sap and its concentrate appeared to minimize the antibiotic-induced breakdown of mice microbiota with a marked effect on bifidobacterium and bacteriowide levels, thus permitting a more rapid reestablishment of the baseline macrobiota levels. Maple Syrup Nutrition Maple syrup does contain some micronutrient content in the form of various minerals like zinc, manganese, calcium, and magnesium, and vitamins like riboflavin and thiamine, as well as trace amounts of amino acids. While it is found to contain more minerals than other types of sweeteners, to meet daily requirements, large portions would have to be consumed, which we do not recommend. However, sweeteners with more nutrients available offer a slight advantage over those with empty calories. Is dark maple syrup more nutritious? A common assumption that most people have is that the darker the syrup, the more nutritious the sweetener. This has in fact been found to be generally true with most pure maple syrups mostly because saps collected later in the sugaring season have less sugar and greater nutritional value. However, sometimes heating techniques can also create a darker colored end result. Most quality pure maple syrups don't employ such methods. According to some research published in the journal Plant Foods and Human Nutrition, it has been shown that darker maple syrup grades are noticeably higher in nutritional properties compared to lighter colored syrups. Results from the reported study suggest that darker syrups tend to contain more beneficial traits and show significantly higher autofluorescence, total phenol content, antioxidant potential, phosphorus, calcium, and total mineral content. How to use Maple syrup is commonly used as a syrup drizzled onto foods, but can also be used as a sugar substitute in many recipes and desserts. When using maple syrup in place of white sugar, replace the same amount with maple syrup, but reduce the amount of liquid the recipe calls for by about half a cup. Again, we don't recommend consuming maple syrup in excess, but it can be consumed occasionally as a condiment for breakfast cereals, porridge, as an ice cream topping, as well as to sweeten smoothies, salad dressings, or homemade granola recipes. As we mentioned, it can be used interchangeably with other pourable natural sweeteners like coconut nectar or a quality agave. Some Native American cultures were known to use it as a replacement for salt. Precautions. Sweeteners like maple syrup should be avoided by those with candida overgrowth, leaky gut, other autoimmune conditions or cancer. In such cases, a low sugar diet is recommended. Thanks for watching. 
for links to additional information, as well as sources of the best maple syrup we can find, be sure and check out the description box below this video. Please like, share, and give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. And be sure and check out these other informative videos.